So this is the pad saver and it's installed in here and you can store it with it in there as long as you remove enough moisture beforehand. You can either drag a rag through there a few times, which is what I do, or you can stick this swab in and let it dry for a little bit and then put it back in when you're done. Basically it just uh, wicks some of the moisture away from these tone holes in the pads to keep the leather in a little better condition. So it does come with this little end cap so you can just use that. You don't have to use the end cap that comes with your sacks. and you need to be careful removing this because there is a little protrusion there's like a brass pipe inside here for this this small tone hole so that's towards these rods so when you're pulling it out you want to kind of twist and push downward away from this and it'll come out pretty easy you don't want to use a lot of force and yank it or anything so you can just kind of I push with my finger down and it'll if it gets stuck you just kind of push it in pull it out and it'll come out without too much effort if you really if you really have to pull, there's something wrong. So I just push it back in and twist a little bit. It goes in plenty fine. Make sure you push downwards, not uh, upwards, because you don't want to hit this little protrusion. And it goes in pretty easy. You just kind of push it down. And that's uh, there you go. So this, this can be an issue, especially as you start pulling it out about halfway. So I'll do it again here. And you want to just kind of twist and push away from this valve so uh, there you go it fits all the way down to the bottom of the bend